with permission from Chronicle Books. A Seed is Sleepy, written by Deanna Hutt Aston and illustrated by Sylvia Long. All these different kinds of seeds. Some that fly, some that float, some that get carried off by animals and people. Very nice. Let's read about some of these seeds. A seed is sleepy. A seed is sleepy. It lies there tucked inside its flower, on its cone, or beneath the soil, snug, still. Well, those seeds pop out into the ground. That looks like a sunflower to me. A seed is secretive. It does not reveal itself too quickly. Most seeds sleep through a season or two waiting for warmer temperatures of spring, but some take their time. 10 years might pass before the bright red orange seed of the Texas mountain laurel shows its purple blooms. Wow. A seed is fruitful. 90% of the plants on earth are flowering plants. Flowering plants produce fruit, fruits of all shapes and textures that keep the seeds cozy until they have found the right place to grow. Look at that, there's seeds in your fruit too. Did you ever notice the tiny little white seeds on a strawberry? Or when you cut into a melon, how you find the seeds inside or even an apple? A seed is naked, yes, naked. Scientists call gymnosperms seeds that aren't clothed in fruit, naked seeds. Most naked seeds hide themselves on the scales of cones under their ready, until they're ready to make a dash for the ground. Who would guess that a seed as small as a freckle would grow into the world's tallest tree? Only 10% of redwood trees begin as a seed though. Most redwood trees spring from existing trees. Big, tall redwood trees. It can be 350 feet. That's really, really tall. Seeds come in many sizes. The orchid seed is the smallest of all. There might be a million seeds in one pod. The seed of the coco de mir palm is the largest. It can weigh up to 60 pounds. Look at that, all these tiny, tiny, tiny little seeds. Or this one great big seed. And all different sizes in between. A seed is adventurous. It must strike out on its own in search of a less crowded place to put down roots. A parachute of fine silky hairs can take a dandelion seed 100 miles from its parent plant. Tiny little dandelion seeds. They're fun to blow and boy do they travel. Drifting seeds float on ocean currents from one shore to another. They have enough air inside to help them float, and their thick, protective shells keep out seawater. So even some seeds can float on the water. Boy, seeds are adventurous. They travel to find a spot to grow. A seed might leap from its pod just to grow. It might leap right out. 
because a seed is inventive. It might cling to a child's shoe or tumble through the belly of a bear. A seed has to land where there is plenty of sunshine, soil, and water. Look at that. You might even help a seed to spread just by walking through the forest. A seed is generous. It gives the baby plant an embryo, a seed coat to keep it warm. The embryo's first meal comes from its seeds leaves right in here. That's also called a cotyledon. Seeds with one seed leaf like corn are called monocotes. Seeds with two seed leaves like beans are called dicotes. Look at that. Let the different seeds grow. Some seeds are ancient. Not all seeds are eager to germinate. Some have lain dormant or slept undisturbed for more than a thousand years. The oldest known seed to sprout came from an extinct date palm tree after it was unearthed from a long ago King's Mountaintop Palace in Israel. A scientist planted it. Four weeks later, it sprouted. Can you believe that? seed was asleep for a really long time. A seed is thirsty. Once a seed has shed its coat, it drinks in the rain and the dew and yesterday's icicles. And it feeds on the minerals in the soil. Part of the plant seed is the root and it feels the tug of gra gravity and it goes down into the dirt. Another part of the seed is the shoot, and it is sensitive to light, so it reaches up for the sun. You root down low, and you sprout up high. A seed is clever. It knows to seek the sunlight, to push itself up, up, up through the soil but it must wait a while before that happens. Plants make their own food through a process called photosynthesis. Inside plant leaves are cells containing chemicals that absorb sunlight. Light gives them the energy they need to turn water and carbon dioxide, a gas in the air, into food. The rainwater and the soil to grow big and strong. A seed is sleepy, but only until it has found a place in the sun and it has had its breakfast and a drink of water. Then a seed is awake. Wow. A seed is 